My name is Sarah Sasso and I work here at Rhythmia in plant medicine and ayahuasca ceremony. I am learning from my teacher, Taitawinito Chindoi Chindoi. And what we've learned is to listen to the plants and how to listen to the plants and use these plants and these medicines to activate our lives, to bring sweetness to our lives, to help heal ourselves, to bring awareness to our surroundings and how we feel through the teachings of these tribes the, from the basin of the Amazon and the Puto Mayo region from the Siona and the Inga. What they've taught us is to listen to these plants and to take information and to take this information and apply it to our lives. And one of these things that we offer here and that we'd like to share with you today is something called a sweet bath and a bitter bath. And a sweet bath is basically a tea that we're making with a bunch of different plants that provide sweetness, like holy basil, chamomile, spearmint, mint, lemongrass, sage. All these different plants can be put into water and turned into a beautiful tea. We apply this tea to our skin and what's happening as you apply these, this tea and this plant onto your skin is it's infusing you with the technology of these plants, the sweetness from these plants. What it really is, is honoring the plants and honoring ourselves and taking a moment to bring sweetness into our lives and to bring gratitude into the plants and creating a ceremony for ourselves every day because we're all worth it and we all deserve the sweetness. And the other side of the sweetness is bitterness. And sometimes we also need to have a bitter bath if we're encountering situations of heavy energy or something in our life that's becoming too much and too heavy, then we can also use a bath of bitterness to cut the energy. And the bitter bath contains a cigar that we shred up with our hands, a lime cut into pieces, and one clove of garlic. And again, we make another tea. And we take this tea and we put it on our skin and we allow this tea to infuse the technology of these plants into our skin to cut the energy, to cut the heaviness. We're bringing gratitude into everything we're doing. And we enter into situations with our allies. These plants become our allies. And they come from ancient, ancient tribes, tribes who have been doing this for thousands and thousands of years. All these plants that we're using ourselves before we give them to other people to use have all been preyed on have been sung to, have been danced to, have been chanted to. And I also invite anybody who's using these baths and these teas to also do this for themselves, to bring your chant, to bring your song, to bring your prayer, and to dance. Life is a ceremony. Hmm? Boil three cups of water, pour in one bag of the herbs and allow them to steep, covered for 20 to 30 minutes or allow the water to become tinted and imbued with the herbs. Allow to cool and strain the infusion. Once you've finished your regular bath or shower, you can towel off or allow your body to air dry. Once the skin is dry, pour the bath water over your head and body. Allow the skin to air dry, enabling the plants to seep into your pores. Do not towel dry after you pour the infusion over your body. Do this with prayer and intention, cooling forth the power of the bitter or sweet plants to heal. Use one bag for each bath. <laughs>